हेलो गाइस माय नेम इज शान एस के एस ए पी एफ आई सी ओ एस फॉर हना फाइनेंस एम एम एंड सी ए सी एम ए चाइना टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट बिजनेस रिक्वायरमेंट प्रोसेस बिफोर डूइंग डी एम ई कॉन्फिग्रेशन ट्रेनर चानु एस के रियल टाइम एस ए पी एडवाइजरी एंड माय करंट प्रोजेक्ट इज बैंकिंग एंड ट्रेजरी मॉड्यूल इन दैट आई एम डूइंग डी एम ई कॉन्फिग्रेशन एंड ऑल्सो ट्रेजरी रिलेटेड कॉन्फिग्रेशन एंड माई प्रीवियस प्रोजेक्ट इज Uh, DXC and here I worked as an implementation manager in FICO. Let's start the concept. So SAP, SAP has uh, provided so many DME formats. Once you go to the DME ET T code and just drill down formats. there are several formats are already available depends upon the country so dme format will be there depends upon the country and uh, bank requirement so dme format should be made according to the bank requirement see dme format should be made according to the bank requirement every bank has its own formats every bank has its own format in different countries so in india there are some of the banks are already there so uh, uh, you can see hdfc bank city bank so standard chartered bank so many banks are there so every bank has its own standard format so based on that standard format we need to design the dme format okay so initially while doing the configuration uh, of dme you will how to touch base with your bank team okay so you will how to touch base with your bank team and collect the file format so without the file format there is no use of doing the configuration that is the reason what my suggestion is so before doing any configuration of dme then first your your point of contact should be bank so based on the bank details you will how to made so you will how to make so dme format okay so sap has already provided some of the standard dme formats in the system you can also use this standard formats based on the client requirement based on the bank requirement okay but uh, this standard requirements the standard format should be converted to jet structure this standard jet means your own structure format should be copied and make your own structure own means jet structure okay so this is depends upon your client requirement your bank requirement so whatever the details of the bank that you need to copy in the system so the standard format need to be amend based on the bank requirement and also if uh, if the standard format is not met the bank uh, uh, structure then you can also create your own dme structure if bank say this uh, standard format is not uh, met your requirement then you can also create your own dme structure so this should be based on the bank requirement so uh, there are some of the t codes are very important and uh, here i'm just giving highlighting everyone i'm highlighting everything over here okay so generally for creation of the dme so these are all important t codes we need to use ob pm1 
ob pm2 ob pm3 in real time and ob pm4 okay and also you will have to define you have to define l11 path so l11 path so your folder will be your folder your bank file format will be sh saved in this format that means once you execute automatic payment program then uh, xml file format should be generated and this file format will be saved in the path l11 path okay so generally there are two types of formats will be there in dme xml format and file format okay so some of the banks will use xml format or some of the banks will be used file formats and uh, this is very important areas while doing this configuration first you need to connect your bank and get the information all the bank information if you want to do the uh, dme for house bank city and payment method uh, while or any sepa payments you can also do that okay so you need to collect uh, which payment method and uh, what kind of bank you need to do dme for the dme file format uh, making uh, making format for the whether it is xml or flat file whatever it may be you can collect uh, your bank and get the information once you are doing the once you are doing the dme structure then you should forget about classic format you should be you should forget about classic structure that means in fb zp there are uh, two types will be there one is payment medium and second one is classic structure if you are using payment medium workbench then forget about the classic structures forget about the idocs so dme or idoc anything will be used by the bank so either you can use dme or uh, idoc it depends upon the your client and bank details okay so so creation for creation of the dme format so t code is dme dme where you can create the dme for, uh, dme configuration where you can do the dme configuration okay and uh, you can also perform note pay configuration this is very important in dme so note pay so before doing this configuration you will collect the note pay information okay so please uh, uh please apologies please apologize me if you make any uh, if i make any spelling mistakes over here so i am writing everything and trying to make you understand so note pay is just like a medium containing information about the paid line items relevant for the business side, business partner so it is just like a information on paid line items so for the relevant for the business partner okay so like we need to collect the number length of the note pay fields defined payment medium format so these are all details are required and data requirement so dme data requirement so these are all information is required define house banks and xml configuration
DM me tree format creation and maintenance maintenance of payment medium format format and maintenance of not pay information and maintain payment medium format for customer so these are all uh, business requirement that you need to collect before doing this configurations payment medium selection variant maintain payment program maintain payment program and fbjp configurations so like uh, first configuration all company codes paying company code and uh, payment method in country so in payment method in country okay we need to assign it this payment medium abjp in payment method in country we need to assign this format payment method in company code bank determination house banks so these are all these are all basic requirements initially you need to gather and also you need to collect the currencies allowed permitted uh, permitted destination countries so not to pay by origin these are all basic details you need to collect and uh, you can also collect the bank determination based on the value date and also you need to collect the bank determination expenses charges these are these are all important areas so before doing this configuration and uh, generally some of the important questions some of the important uh, questions that you can ask your client that you can ask your client before doing this configuration number of bank accounts number of bank accounts are required and uh, currencies used for the bank accounts these are all bank information currencies used for the bank account and uh, who is going to provide gl series gl series is very important who is provide gl series and any information any interfaces or any interfaces are associated and the payment medium format what is the payment medium format and uh, what file format your bank using and uh, bank master bank master sanity check so these are all information you need to ask before doing the banking configurations 
okay see guys this is all about dme basic requirement while doing the dme configuration so what is the basic requirements that you can ask from the bank and you can ask from your client so these are all important areas guys and uh, this is completely complex topic and anyhow I, I will try to make it in very simple way so that you guys uh, understand in the coming classes so dme is just like a business uh, requirement process before doing the dme configuration